Oh my god. I have just found Virtual Charger's truck on prominent display outside my house blocking my truck in. Hello guys and welcome back to episode 52 Survival Challenge. So, episode 51 we had that big major crash. I have rectified everything on the farm and I've even done a bit extra. I got it back up to 50,000 ish because I flattened this area off as best as I could. It still looks like it's on the ramp but oh well. And that is because I think I'm going to where it's up to where it is level I'm going to make this into one big field. I think. I might trim it up somewhere here. And make a little p a path going in. Maybe there. And there. And it can be into one big field. But no, the first task is to... Well, there's two first tasks that I need to do. And one of them, well, is to stone pick this field. And the other one is to sell all the milk off. And also the other one is to... Put it back to two times. Because I do need to also harvest the barley field, which will be predominantly for the chickens. But depending on when the best time is, oh my god, it's January. They'll also be harvested. Now, there is an update coming out for this stone picker for it not picking up at the sides. Right there, so you do have to to work to work this and it's magic, you do need to be slightly over to the right. Right then guys, so, just finished the field on the time lapse as you may have just seen. So, overall that is four fields, nice and stone picked. And not even a full tank. So this episode I am aiming to be out on this should be out Tuesday. And yes, if you do want to see more episodes, please let me know. Because I'm quite more than happy to do more episodes. I'm hoping it's going to get out of here. Good. Yeah, there's two fields here as well ready to harvest. What's it lacking? Does it lack anything big? 
Well, it's got stones and it's got water and it's got methane in. So what I am going to do is I'm going to start that up. And because it's a big trailer and it takes up a lot of room, I'm going to keep it out here. Now we don't initially own this land back here, but keep it like that. It is a fast production, guys. Oh my god, we've got one pallet of gold. We've got gold! Can't pick them up though, by hand. Right then, so we need the trailer, we need the grain trailer and the harvester. Now the grain trailer is somewhere over here. I think. There. And yeah, I am gonna. I did say in the last episode I'm gonna win a poll, and I am going to win a poll. I'll probably do it. I'm recording this Thursday night, so yeah, I'll probably do it Friday night after the next episode's gone out, which is 49 if I can remember rightly. 50 should be going out Saturday, 51 should go out Sunday, 52, yeah, should go out Tuesday. So I'll probably get it. done the poll Friday night yeah tomorrow night so that can stay there a minute if I hop into the dominator but I do want to look to see yeah how much milk we've got 6,000 litres of milk I want to know is it good to sell yet February, January is the best time. 752. 7. According to those points, there it could go up. There was a 778. Do I risk it? This is like a risk game. Will that price there go up enough? for that to come down. Mm. I'm going to harvest the field. And as I'm harvesting the field, I will keep an eye out on it. Might as well take this bridge here. But no! Are you guys liking the farm? So yes, I will get a straw swath coming off. headland done I might as well do it on camera with you all and then I'll put it onto a time lapse now as I say I have got the sunflowers to harvest it probably won't be in this episode but yeah I don't know 
know if I'm actually going to get them done today. Because yes, I will need a con header. And the crop that I'm looking to do next is enough around the potatoes on that bigger field potentially by the harvester because I think it comes under beat technology but I think I can get a Yeah, three five three plus the potato header seventy three thousand yes. I'd love the header that I am using on survival roleplay. Well, was using a survival roleplay. But no, with this money that we earn from the milk selling and potentially the barley, we need to buy the precision farming analyzing tool, the farmhouse, a new farmhouse. And, well, potatoes planter. If I can't do potatoes this time round, I might do sugar, look into sugar cane or popular. So, I will get this harvested. in real time
last. They ain't looking inside for the needs of life. They want to be like by everybody in sight. But trust me, being free ain't spotlight. So it's long nights and it's long fights with yourself all the time to get your mind right. But if you put in the work, you can find the light. All right. I'll do anything that I feel like I want. taken me about 20 minutes in real time to finish this field and I know I didn't fully fertilize it and I only did round the edges God knows what it would be like if I did the middle as well Yeah, this is the trouble with having a a big harvester. No, a small harvester with a small harvestable tank. Oh great, don't let me reset this. And a big field, it doesn't work. So, there's potential that we will be upgrading the harvester, and if any of you do know any cheap but big harvesters, please let me know. Within, well, below 100,000 would be nice. But, I will get this unloaded. So, I am going to sell off this grain, I'm also going to get the milk brought down, and well, I need to look for the best price. Six five two. Oh, it's all decreasing. Right, sorry about that, guys. My microphone stopped working for the minute. So. The next part. I was just looking up at my OBS and well what was the best price for barley? 652 where we're going? Yeah, it's on barley. 652 I know which one's a sell point and which ones aren't. I'm looking for an, a good price, that's production point. have to go to the selling point. And I don't know where that is, you know. And I don't know if it's... Hang on. Hang on a minute. Yeah, that's fine. That is a good production to take it to. But no, this is going to be a good series. Especially now that we are adding precision farming on. I feel like 
back it's going to be even better. Yeah, so we need to reverse in really. Oh my god, this could be good. This could be a really good income. <laughs> the environmental score penalty has come up, but we've got 10,000 pounds, 905. Could have been 11,000 if we had the precision farming yield, but we are now at a total of 60,000 pounds which is very, very beneficial. And then there's all that straw to bail up. Which I think is also at a good price in January, so I probably won't fast forward too much. Yeah, 48. And it's decreasing. So what I may even do is load up them straw bales that we've already got. sell them and keep the fresh ones I can't wait for those soybeans to be ready to harvest despite the weeds so what I will do is I will pack this up I will turn that off. I'll turn the tractor off. I'll get into the tanker. And I will go and sell some milk. Twenty one per cent milk. Where are we selling it? Seven five two is the best price, like we said. I don't think that's gonna go up any higher, so what I am gonna do is I'm just gonna take the seven seven six before we lose any more good money. And yes, it's down down there. Where's it going to? Corner shop, I think it's an okay one. So now I, I'm going to lose the milk, as I will know, if I go that way. So the best way to go is go this way, and then get over the bridge. Gold has the best price in June, July time. So, how much do you think we are going to make? I'm going to say about 65,000. My guesses are at a bit of a push. 
so I may have just been a bit of an optimist. Now let me turn here. And there will be some more new production buildings going down. And the town will be expanding, but... Because I brought it back into single player, because of the issues, I need to find a way to do it all. Do we get? Five thousand three hundred and forty one, sixty five thousand. If you guessed sixty five thousand, let me know. So, what am I going to buy with? this a new trailer hmm. no the precision farming tools needed so I'm not sure don't think it can go on here some flowers can be sold in the month of February so that'll be probably next time we'll be harvesting those but oh it's because I was umming and ahhing about that point am I taking the risk? yes Yeah, the final thing to do is to top up these greenhouses. I'm gonna go about 10% because this is a big tanker to fill. Now we could actually buy pigs as well, but I think we've only got barley sorghum, we have got the pig food, and I can't forget about that, we have got that all, all that pig food to use. But the one that I'm thinking of going for is either the self-made pig farm, which is on Bally Springs if you are playing on that map, and we can get slurry from them. That one, which is 30,000, that one which is 50. An alien gym one, which are quite big but they are quite realistic which 
probably will be the case on which one I'm using. Oh, this base game one. Now, I do have an idea of which one I am using. Oh, that one. Yes, I do have an idea of which one to use. And it's probably this one. Or probably that one. If I'm going with that one, it'll probably go over here. Because I don't need to access the side of the building. I do need to access this side. For the slow way. And I just need to place the food in the middle. So it could go there nicely. And yes, we have got the ingredients to be able to use, feed the pigs. So that's probably that's what I'm doing. But the final job for today is to go down to the store and buy the precision farming tool. Not something that I would like to do in this episode, but oh well. I'm not going to sell the gold today because it's not the best time. But no, that probably be enough of work that I'm going to do and I might even do it Thursday, tonight. And that is, should I buy the stones for the gold production with a trailer from up at the store? Because if so, if that poll wins, I'll probably start episode 53 with a trailer load full of stones from the store. I may as well turn the beacons off. And I am at the store. What's in the sales? Ooh, quite a good selection. Which tractor are they actually trying to give me? Yeah, I didn't think it would be that one. That's nice as well. That's quite nice as well. 84,000 for a tractor for only 4.8 hours on it. As soon as they get to 100 hours, we do need to start selling our tractors. Because they don't they become very underpowered. According to Farmer Cop's video, which if you are not already, please go and check out his channel. Farmer Cop, this is a bit of a shout out for you. You've got a brilliant channel, mate, and yeah, you should go and check out his channel. According to Farmer Cop's video, on just over 100 hours work, the answer is no. It starts to lose the power and the traction, so that's probably when I will think about upgrading tractor. Now that one is okay. But it's not my main main horsepower tractor. We do need to look at getting something with a front loader capacity on it. But no, what am I really here for? I'm getting distracted again. Precision farming tool. 
the tool to success. I'm going to buy that. I'm going to get this put to the foot back of the tractor. And I will see you back at the farm. See you in a minute, guys. After I've kicked a pallet. Right then, guys, welcome back. Welcome back. I am going to just test the machine out. One, because I have not actually specifically used it as such on a series. And two, it's, well, it's may as well just use it out. Now, I'm not sure what I'm doing down. I might be doing grass in that field because it's on the lump. But I'm not sure yet. Now the field that I do definitely know that there's a crop going to be going in is this field right here, so I'm going to analyse it. So one... The thumbnail's probably going to be something like that, analysing the ground. Let me just have a screenshot. There we go. That will be my screenshot. Title will probably be something, well, Probably something like analysing what do we find. So I'm going to fold that up. I'm going to send them off. And it can go in £600 for the soil to be analysed. Oh, I could have done the potato field. Sorry. Yeah, I'm going to. Let's get this field done. It's going to do a bit of the soya bean field, but not too really. Yes, it's got a bit of the soya bean field. So, this needs to be parked under cover, another £600 for protection. No, it always needs to be stayed dry to these. So, so, so.
Beacons are off. Right. Let's stand up here. And let's have a look. So. What do you think they are? Are my results going to be shocking or good? Three, two, one. I'm hoping good. Oh, ow. So that one there is lo Slummy Sand and Sandy Loam. That must mean that's going to be something Sandy Loam. It could all be Sandy Loam. So it looks like getting down this side, it's going to be Sandy Loam. No, that's 42 we've got up here. Oh my god. Lo loam and Sandy Loam. I dread to look what that field could be. Or oh, that field. Whew. But this should mean that we can improve our prices when we sell crops for instance so if I move it on pH is okay but it could do with some lime to go on it nitrogen well it's sufficiently bad there because it's had no attention that feels quite bad it's quite good on nitrogen yield well, we've only got a yield on this side for some reason, and this crop that we've just harvested, which is pretty bad. Seed rate, I don't know yet. But no, 42 and 36. So, if you have enjoyed this episode, and you're enjoying the progress that you've seen on the farm so far please make sure you consider like subscribe to the channel if you are new and for more videos like this one feel free to share this video and if you have done all of that drop me a donation in my paypal it will go a long way to support the channel with the problems I'm facing. So until the next one, I will see you all again very soon. Bye for now.